What is good guys? It is your boy Jason JV and yeah as you can see we got a little bit more color now in the background. We got the shelves glowing in a nice beautiful green going with the purple. You know what I'm saying? Kind of got the Joker color scheme going on and everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah as you can tell like, like the bottom section here is not well lit. Um, I gotta get more um, LED light strips so I can get the bottom section to light up as well. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I think it's coming along. I think my background, my settings, you know what I'm saying? It's, com it's coming along really well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, enough about that. It's time for another Saints Row the Third remaster gameplay action. And uh, for this video, um, we're only going to tackle uh, two activities. One of which being the uh, insurance fraud activity and the other being uh, Professor Genki. I figured because there's only three each. I mean, it shouldn't take that long. You know what I mean? So anyway, I went ahead... Um, Whoops. I went ahead. Uh, I took care of all the Hitman targets. Um, I didn't think that, that would be very exciting to show off. You know what I mean? Um, I know me personally, it would not be very exciting to watch. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Let's get the hell out of here before we get any more interruptions. And uh, I went ahead and I bought some, some properties as well. Don't believe me. Let me show you the map. So yeah, we we've been we've been a little busy. You know what I'm saying? Buying up some properties, try you know get some turf. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't want to go too crazy because uh, we're gonna have some hitman targets later on, and it's gonna require uh, leaving some of these uh, spaces open so that way I can get them out in the open. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, yeah, been been busy. And uh, we went ahead, we took care of the uh, the, the trafficking <clears throat> activity. That's done. The heli assault is done. Um, like I said, I didn't think any of those would be very exciting to watch. Because um, the way that they did the activities in this game, it's not the best. I prefer um, Saints Road 2's um, version of the activity segments. Although, if there's any slight change I can make in this game, not only will I bring back the Saints Road 2 style of activities but um i would reduce the levels i mean you can do like three levels each or whatever that that, that would have been cool you know what i'm saying and uh or if you want to do three different ones that would be fine like they did here but i don't like the the idea that when you complete an activity you you take over the uh the area that the activity is in like this tank mayhem for example because we completed that we kind of took, took over this spot right here um not a big fan of that because i felt like i feel like this is where they kind of like cut corners as far as the amount of missions that they gave us in this game. You know what I mean? Which makes this game feel a lot shorter mission-wise than the past two games do. Which is, you know, not, not ideal. But anyway, let's go ahead and kick things off with the insurance fraud. And then we'll do Professor Genki after. 12 seconds later. Oh. All right. Hit me. Oof. Bruh. <laughs> so I like how I like how we don't have to use the moves in order to uh in order to get the the money counter to go up, you know what I'm saying? Uh cars can just hit you and everything. I appreciate that. I think that's really the only improvement they made on this insurance fraud. Other than that, I don't like the fact that along with the rest of the activities, once you complete this, you basically take over that area, that piece of turf that the activity was located in. I think that's, I think that's stupid. And it's lazy. Bruh. Oh, come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, thank you. Woo! Oh. And I like that you, you can be anywhere doing these. There's no specific... I mean, they give you, like, specific areas if you want to score really high, really quick. But really, you can do this anywhere. 
Bruh. Come on, come on, come on, do it, do it. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> oh. Oof. And we did it. Later. <clears throat> I think I have Professor Genki in this. Come here, Genki. I want to kill you, but I can't. I don't let you kill Genki while there's an activity going on. That's how you make that crazy money. Woo! Bruh. Yeah. Bruh. Ow. Ran over my legs. Bruh. Come on now. All right. Whoa. We're in one of the higher paying areas. Oh yeah, oh boy, here we go. Yeah. Woo! 
Yeah, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Fly, let's go. Bye bye. Oh, come on, my ex girlfriend hits harder than that. Oh. That'd be funny if I got hit while I was taunting. Alright, let's go hit the last insurance fraud. Let me get a ride. Oh, asking ye shall receive. Oh, we're taking the convertible, baby. Let's go. Few inches later. All right, y'all. Woo! Yeah. So that's one we did was hard. This is the medium mode. And that's another thing I hate about the way that they did these uh, activity arrangements. Is that um, they're not in order. They're kind of just scattered. So you can go from easy to hard and then to medium. Or you can go medium to easy to hard, or you can go hard to medium to easy, which I don't like. I mean, you should just put all three levels in one activity. I think that would have made more sense. Bruh. Come on, I know somebody wants to hit me. Hit me. Uh, I'm a... Oh. Cleared all three of those cars and get hit by a single one. Ain't that some shit? Bruh. I cleared all those cars. Who the hell? Ow. Ow. Oh. Bruh. Big mother trucker. Ow. Bruh. Bruh. Ew. Bruh. Bruh. Woo! Woo! Bruh. Bruh. Oh. Oh. Would you believe this is supposed to be the one of the highest paying areas? I mean, I'm in the red zone. I should be making, making way more money than that. Woo! Ah! Bruh. 
Ah. Come on, hit me. Thank you. Ah. Hit me. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Uh, come on now. Uh. Come on, less than 40k more and we done skis. We got it. Yeah. Anytime you think you're mad enough. All right, y'all. So that was the insurance fraud. We're going to go ahead and hit up Professor Genki next. Because, uh, yeah, we, 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 we just feeling a little reckless. Let's do this. Another present. A present is in the maze. And that's it. We have a winner. Anytime you think you're mad enough. Yeah. So you unlock more of the Prof Professor Genki activity. Check your map for locations. And we're going to hit up the next location right about now. Jump cut. Let's do this. 
Professor Genki's super ethical reality climax. Bobby, what can we expect in this arena today? Zach, this particular arena features a lot of fire, a lot of lightning, guns, and a lot of pain. Ow! That's right, and like any other arena, our contestant can pile up a mountain of cash in a hurry. This contestant, the leader of the Notorious Saints, has had some success in the reality climax already. Let's see if they can handle the challenges before them today. Still murdering guys in hot dog suits. Fun fact, the guy who is voicing Bobby is um, Rob Van Dam. Y'all know who Rob Van Dam is. You rock out loud like James Brown. I want the present. Oh hell! Bruh! This is unbelievable! So, what other celebrities would you support the professor Oh come on, I'm shooting this guy in the head! Screw this! Barely escaped that one. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, I like this SMG. Let's go. Stuck him in the wall. That's how I like it. Let's go. <clears throat> Come on, we just up this piece. Someone right here. There you are. Oh, hell. No. I'm tired. Uh. I didn't think I was going to do that one. All right, y'all. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, I really just want to showcase those two activities because I think that those are the most fun. So anyway, Make sure y'all are keeping it locked right here on the JJV-TV channel uh, for more Saints Row the Third Remaster action. And uh, yeah, till the next one, it is your boy Jason JV. So y'all have a blessed one. All right, peace.